This video demonstrates how to programmatically place a shape on a PowerPoint slide using VBA. Maybe you have existing slides and want to rearrange the placement of shapes on these slides, but it would be tedious to do manually. Or maybe you programmatically copy and paste shapes onto a slide, but the initial placement is not what you want. The key is to identify which shape on the slide you want to move and then adjust its left and top properties. Let's start by seeing the position of each shape on this slide. Dim shape as shape for each shape in application.activepresentation.slides1.shapes. Message box shape.name is located at stir dollar shape.top stir dollar shape.left. Next shape. Now let's modify the position of the first shape on the slide. Dim shape as shape. Set shape equals application dot active presentation dot slides one dot shapes one. Shape dot top equals 350. Shape dot left equals 500. The hard part might be identifying the shape to move, since there are typically many shapes on a slide. If you just place the shape on the slide, it will be the last shape in the shapes collection. Let's say you just put a text box on the slide with code like this. Left equals 100. Top equals 200. Width equals 300. Height equals 100. Dim my new text box as shape. Dim shapes as shapes. Set shapes equals application dot active presentation dot slides one dot shapes. Set my new text box equals shapes dot add text box. MSO text orientation dot MSO text orientation horizontal left top width height. My new text box dot text frame dot text range dot text equals new text box. Here's how to move the last shape in the shapes collection. Dim shape as shape. Dim shapes as shapes. Set shapes equals application dot active presentation dot slides one dot shapes. Set shape equals shapes. Shapes dot count. Shape dot top equals 300. Shape dot left equals 200. But perhaps you are not that lucky. You have been given a slide with shapes and you don't know how or in what order the shapes were put on the slide. In this case, you could iterate over the slide shapes, checking each one's type. The shapes type will tell you whether the shape is a text box or line, picture, table, among many other types. Dim shape as shape. Dim shapes as shapes. Set shapes equals application dot active presentation dot slides one dot shapes. For each shape in shapes, if shape.type equals MSO shape type dot MSO text box, then message box shape.name is a text box and I can change its position with top and left properties. And if next shape. Finally, if you have control over the slides, it is best practice to name your shapes as you put them on the slide. That way, when you want to programmatically work with that shape again, you don't have to go through the checks of its text or type. As you put new shapes on the slide, assign a name with shape.name. Then you can pick the shape with that name from the shapes collection using its name as the index. Dim shape as shape. Dim shapes as shapes. Set shapes equals application dot active presentation dot slides one dot shapes. Set shape equals shapes with an index of text box three. This is the name. Message box shape dot text frame dot text range dot text. If this video helped you, please watch my other videos. Give this one a thumbs up and subscribe.